happy of a Wednesday, Mackenzie. We're seeing dry conditions statewide on the satellite and radar this afternoon. It should stay that way through the day. Out to City Park, you can see all the sunshine. Very spring-like out there with temperatures today topping out in the 50s. But tomorrow, a change comes our way. We've declared it a first alert weather day for high fire danger. We have a red flag warning in place starting at 11 a.m. tomorrow. This includes the Denver metro area south through the Palmer Divide as well as Lincoln and Albert counties. We could see wind gusts up to 50 miles per hour and humidity as low as 8%. We also have a fire weather watch in place. This includes Pueblo and all of southeast Colorado, including Lamar and Springfield. We could see gusts 50 to 60 miles per hour and humidity 7 to 10%. In the mountains, it's going to be a different story tomorrow. As we fire up the future cast, we'll stay dry through tomorrow morning, but by tomorrow afternoon, we'll start to see moisture stream into the western half of the state. The snow will intensify throughout the day overnight tomorrow into Friday morning. Now, it's not out of the question. We may see a light sprinkle, maybe a snow flurry by Friday morning, but no accumulation is expected here in the metro area as that system passes through. Up in the mountains, though, it's a different story. A winter storm watch is in place starting tomorrow. We could see up to 16 inches of snow through the Elkhead and Park Range. And also a winter weather advisory is in place. So expect difficult travel if you're headed up to the high country, up to 12 inches of snow through Steamboat, 12 inches of snow possible through Crested Butte and Aspen tomorrow and down to the south in the San Juans. We could see up to 10 inches of snow by Friday morning. Temperatures today slightly warmer than yesterday. We'll top out in the low to mid 50s here in the Front Range. Up to the north from Boulder through Fort Collins we will stay in the 40s. And in northeast Colorado we will have mostly cloudy conditions and it's going to stay on the cooler side from Sterling through Yuma only in the 30s. But check out Southeast Colorado will be near 70 degrees in Springfield today. Very spring-like up in the high country in the low 50s for many mountain towns. So perfect spring break skiing and riding conditions with 60s out to the west. Overnight tonight, we'll drop down to the mid-20s up and down the I-25 corridor. On the eastern plains, we'll see 20s and 30s, teens and 20s up high with 30s to the west. And then tomorrow, we warm things up. Definitely going to feel spring-like here in the metro area. We'll be about 10 to 15 degrees warmer compared to the last two days, topping out in the mid 60s here in the Front Range. On the Eastern Plains will be in the 80s in southeast Colorado. In the mountains, it'll be on the cooler side, mainly in the 30s and 50s out to the west. On the Super 7-day forecast again tomorrow, a first alert weather day for that high fire danger in the metro area. We are expecting that to wind to really pick up around 11 a.m. And then on Friday, as that cold front moves through, temperatures drop back into the 40s. We have that chance to see a light sprinkle on Friday morning. Again, no accumulation here. And then the weekend, look at that, fantastic, in the 60s. Into next week, the